And James Webb actually is from a totally different area of uh, the science portfolio than, than say the remote sensing we're talking about. James Webb is uh, sort of a cross between a planetary science mission and, a, and an astrophysics mission, and more astrophysics than anything because James Webb is going to allow us to see about a hundred times better and farther than, than the Hubble Space Telescope. And if you remember, Hubble revolutionized our understanding of the universe. James Webb is going to allow us to look into the atmospheres of some of these planets that we've discovered recently that we call exoplanets. Planets orbiting other suns in other galaxies uh, way away from our own galaxy. I mean many thousands of light years away and James Webb actually has the ability to be able to look into, into those galaxies and into the, the atmosphere of some of those planets. So we're going to learn a lot more about a lot of other planets that are around other suns. So that's what's so spectacular about James Webb. It's a launch in October of 2018 and um, you probably remember in my comments I kept talking about the critical importance of international collaboration. James Webb is a partnership among uh, the U.S., Canada, the European Space Agency. We're actually going to launch on an ESA spacecraft out of Kourou down in South America. It'll be on an Ariane 5. So we have uh, real critical partnerships. When you look at our exploration program, uh, the Orion spacecraft that's going to be used to take our crews to Mars, uh, the service module, which is the power and propulsion part of the Orion spacecraft, is being built by our European partners. So it's actually being built in Turin in Italy and then shipped to the United States for integration into the rest of the rest of the stack.